Today we are going to introduce greenhouse gases and their effects on our planet. Let's first look at this picture. We can see the smoke coming out from those tall chimneys from the industry. The smoke contains a large amount of harmful gas, dirty particles and the greenhouse gases. So what's the greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gases are gases in the Earth's atmosphere that trap heat. They let sunlight pass through the atmosphere. But they prevent the heat that the sunlight brings from leaving the atmosphere, which lead to the greenhouse effect. The major greenhouse gases emission contains 81% of carbon dioxide, 10% of methane, 7% of nitrous oxide, and 3% of fluorinated gases. Most of the greenhouse gases are from human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, driving cars, agriculture activities, and so on. And a small amount of these gases is emitted from nature sources, like volcano eruption and the decay of organic bases. Unlike other greenhouse gases, fluorinated gases have no nature sources, and they nearly exclusively result from human activities, such as using the fridge and the aerosol can. So, what is greenhouse effect? Greenhouse is commonly used to grow plants out of season, such as tomatoes. Inside a greenhouse, the temperature is warm because sunlight enters and invisible light penetrates the glass, partly absorbed by plants and partly reflected outside, which has an invisible heat radiation. Earth obtains warm in a similar way. Sunlight penetrates the gas layer of atmosphere, which is partly absorbed and partly reflected. Small particles in the air ensure that a percentage of the reflected radiation is sent back to Earth. The absorbed energy warms the atmosphere and the surface of the Earth. This makes our Earth more habitable. Without the natural greenhouse effects, Earth's average temperature will be negative 18 degrees Celsius instead of positive 15 degrees Celsius. However, human activities has caused a lot of pollution by producing a large amount of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. The number of small particles increases, and the result is like a greenhouse where the glass is too thick, so an increased amount of radiation is sent back to Earth and the heat is unable to escape, causing the temperature to rise constantly and cause the climate change. Therefore, how seriously have the increase in greenhouse gases brought to our planet? According to NASA, the world's average surface temperature has increased by 0.8 degrees Celsius from 1880. You might consider it's only 0.8 degrees Celsius. It's okay. Our planet will not be affected badly. However, this 0.8 degrees Celsius has already caused above negative effects. And you can see on the plot that related the carbon dioxide emission and the temperature change. With the carbon dioxide emission increases each year, our planet becomes warmer and warmer. So you can imagine that what a huge negative effect on climate change will bring from such many different kinds of greenhouse gases. Climate change affects hugely on our oceans, weather, food, and health. Ice sheets such as Greenland and Antarctica is melting, which cause the sea level to rise. Spills out of the ocean can flood the coastal regions. Warmer temperatures also make weather more extreme, such as more intense major storms, floods, heavy snowfall, and longer droughts. The extreme weather makes it more difficult to grow crops as the area of plants and animals live will shift. In addition, climate change can also directly affect human health in urban areas as warmer atmosphere traps an increased amount of smog, which contains ozone, and it can cause a number of health problems, such as asthma, heart disease, and lung cancer. Thus, we should do something to prevent global warming. Here are the actions that can be easily done. For instance, we can reduce emissions by driving less or driving a few efficient vehicles. In order to save energy, we should also reduce food waste. Also, we can recycle more and use more renewable energy. As a member of the Earth, we should all try our best to participate in those actions. Thus, we can protect our homeland eventually. Thanks for watching our video.